Hi, I'm Mickey Heider with Sandlot Baseball, and we're here today to talk about how to choose a Little League Baseball bat. And the things that you're going to need is a wide variety of bats to choose from. When you're choosing a Little League Baseball bat, you need to find the bat that is best suited for your player. Number one, it needs to be heavy enough for him to have enough density to get through the ball, but light enough for him to control. One of the ways you can use to figure out if he can control the bat enough, uh, well enough or not, is to put the bat at the top of the grip, much like this on a, on a metal bat. Have him hold it with his dominant hand, if he's right-handed, and it, if he can cast the bat out hard and stop it without it going past uh, parallel to the ground, then he can ha handle that bat. And you keep doing that with the bats as they get bigger and heavier until he can't do that anymore, and that's a good way to start choosing that bat. Secondly, he needs to choose a bat depending upon what kind of league he's playing in. A lot of little leagues and certain leagues have bat rules and bat uh, requirements. Some bats can be only a certain size barrel. Uh, so make sure that you buy a bat that's appropriate to the rules for that league. If he plays in a league that is high school or better, he must use what is called a minus three or a drop three bat. And that's very simply means whatever length it is, the ounces are three less. For instance, if this is a 34 inch bat, the weight cannot be less than 31 ounces. It's listed right on the bat what the ounces are and what the length is. So find the, 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 the weight and the length that's appropriate for your player and then make sure it meets the rule requirements. For things less than high school, usually there's not a minus three requirement. But if it has something to do with middle school ball, high school ball, there is restrictions. You can get up to like minus 11s or even 13s for little bitty players. That's not a bad idea in many cases. And that means that if it were a 30 uh, inch bat, it could be like a 20 ounce bat. Uh, when we get to rule restrictions for high school and school ball, then it could be only a minus or drop three. So make sure you know the league requirements for that bat. Some league use can use big barrel bats. Some leagues have to use wooden bats, and some leagues have to use small barrel bats. So before selecting any bat, make sure that you're getting the appropriate bat for the league he's going to be playing in. And then go to the store, pick out a bat that is big enough for him, and yet not too large. And you can have him swing the bat. A lot of places have demo bats that you can swing. Find something that he can handle, but get it the, the heaviest he can handle, so there'll be enough density in the bat to help him get through the baseball. And that's how you choose a bat.